I know you're very concerned about yeah. this, Rich, and you want to point out that this is not just children receiving government vaccines. This applies to many children. Yeah, that's right. You know, this is a very big deal. Ninety percent of all children get their vaccines from providers who participate in this program. And I'm very concerned about anything that raises questions in parents' minds about how effective or safe vaccines are. I mean, the first concern, when you get your child vaccinated, you want to feel certain that they're going to be pr protected against those diseases. But the second concern is there, there are a lot of parents who are hesitant about the number of vaccines that they're getting and whether it's safe. And I'm concerned that this is going to be misinterpreted. This wasn't about safety. Vaccines that are stored improperly are still safe, but we're not sure that they're going to be fully effective. So what should parents do going forward, Rich? Well, first thing, make sure to get your, ch your, ch your child vaccinated fully and on time. But the next time you go in to get your child vaccinated, Ask your doctor, are you sure your, vac your vaccines are being stored at the right temperature? And that's going to cause them to take a look at their system. You know, it, it definitely will me as a pediatrician. I'm going to look. And as you said, always go in asking questions of your doctors. I mean, what's the doctor's responsibility? In well, this? you know, I think doctors need to be taken out to the woodshed on this. And, you know, each state is responsible for their vaccine programs. But doctors need to look in their offices and say, okay, how are my nurses doing this? Are our vaccines safe? You know, the, the whole integrity of the program relies on things like this. I don't think this story's over. Yeah, you think it's going to continue? I do. All right. Well, thanks for the investigation.